Hello. For your daily devotion today, we are continuing in the Old Testament book of Isaiah, chapter 52. Today is Tuesday, June the 4th, and this is the Greenbar Valley Church of the Nazarene. We are starting, as I said, in Isaiah, chapter 52. We will start where we left off yesterday in verse 7 and go through verse 15. Here's the word of the Lord. How beautiful on the mountains are the feet of those who bring good news, who proclaim peace, who bring good tidings, who proclaim salvation, who says to Zion, your God reigns. Listen, your watchmen lift up their voices. Together they shout for joy. When the Lord returns to Zion, they will see it with their own eyes. Burst into songs of joy together, you ruins of Jerusalem, for the Lord has comforted his people. He has redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord will lay bare his holy arm in the sight of all the nations, and all the ends of the earth will see the salvation of our God. Depart, depart, go out from there. Touch no unclean thing. Come out from it and be pure, you who carry the articles of the Lord's house. But you will not leave in haste, nor go in flight, for the Lord will go before you. The God of Israel will be your rear guard. See, my servant will act wisely. He will be raised and lifted up and highly exalted. Just as there were many who were appalled at him, his appearance was so disfigured but beyond that of any human being, and his form marred beyond human likeness. So he will sprinkle many nations, and kings will shut their mouths because of him. For what they were not told, they will see, and what they have not heard, they will understand. And that is the word of the Lord. Our article today from our former superintendent, Nina Gunter, is We Bring Good News. Followers of Christ are the people of God. Culture does not find us. Bank accounts do not define us. Our social, social status does not define us. A godly, authentic, transformed character is our identity. Jesus admonished his followers, do not conform to this world. Believers are set apart in identity and attitudes as they embrace the values of Christ's kingdom and reject those of this age. Christians have the opportunity to live the kingdom in the world, being the authentic reflection of God in the darkness around us. When we live like this and share this with others, our message is goodness to those around us, our families, our communities, our nations. We are messengers who proclaim peace, who bring good tidings, who proclaim salvation to her and dying world. What wonderful news! It is so wonderful that the popular that the prophet points out the messenger's feet are beautiful because of the good news brought by them. We have an opportunity to live authentic lives for Christ. In doing so, we also have the opportunity to be messengers with beautiful news for a broken, dark world. Let us examine our relationship with Christ and ask him to sanctify our influence to be a godly, authentic, transformed character. Glory to his name, Alicia A. Huffman wrote our hymn for today. I am so wondrously saved from sin. Jesus so sweetly abides within. And as we started off our reading today, Isaiah 52, 7, how beautiful on the mountains are the feet of those who bring good news. And this is your daily devotion for Tuesday, June the 4th. Good news. Have a great day.